rematch for sure. So now, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we are ready to move on to bout number two. This once again scheduled for five three-minute rounds and to be fought under full Muay Thai rules. So let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen from Australia, please welcome to the ring, Joe Coverdale. So, Sly, you would know Joe Cloverdale pretty well. Depends. If he walks out with a pipe in his mouth, oh, I yeah. don't know him. <laughs> but if he comes without it, I do. But playing into the smoking Joe kind of... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Joe Coverdale, both as a fighter and as a person. He's a guy I've, I've had fight for me and I've seen him fight many shows. A great guy. He's, he's come to the sport a little bit older than the average bear, but uh, he's taking some hard fights and... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him do his thing in front of Sydney crowd, guys. How would you uh, describe his style for people that haven't seen him before? Um, he's quite aggressive. He's got a, a, a lovely uh, left knee, step up knee, and he, he does throw his kicks. His kicks aren't his strongest game. His biggest strength is his tenacity. He yeah. loves to fight. He lets his hands go. He's got a world of experience in his corner. Kim Olsen. Uh, Oceania Muay Thai Once champion, again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Joe Coverdale, who's trained so many fighters over the years, and he's got such a keen eye, so he's got a great team behind him, and training out of um, Absolute MMA in Melbourne. Smoking Joe Coverdale. And facing Joe this evening, his opponent in the red corner, also from Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Jordy Bargaley. So it sounds like the crowd's on Jordy's side. <laughs> Jordy Bargaley has some fans in the crowd. Yes. Jordy Bargaley coming from Picton's World Path uh, Martial Arts, trained by David Riggs. This would be Jordy's second pro fight, but he's had about 20 something fights as amateur. He's fought in Thailand before, starting at a very young age from there. He's a former uh, MTA New South Wales champion and, uh, and uh, 63 kilos, I think, or 62. 62 that kilograms. Yep. Well, once again, um, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Jordy, Jordy Bargaley! And doesn't mind the scrap. So, but basically, from what you're saying, is. Uh, we're in it for a hell of a war between these two guys. Uh, 62 kilos, we're gonna see a high amount of work rate. A lot and, of work. Uh, I'll tell you guys this much, you're not gonna see much going backwards from Joe Coverdale. Um, for the guys that don't sort of know, in New South Wales in particular, there's a bigger amateur scene where guys do end up having 10, 20 amateur fights. Some of those fights are basically only with headgear and elbow pads. In Melbourne, we don't have as big an amateur scene, so there's the VAMA um, events where usually fighters will have a couple of fights on those and turn pro and start fighting on the various shows in Melbourne. Joe's been very busy. I think he only had one or two amateur fights and went straight into it. Yeah. And straight into like top end guys as well. Like he's, uh, I believe his last fight was up in Queensland on eruption. He went up and fought um, Albert Tua, Tua yeah, Baby Yon, who's really seen in the country on fire at the moment, undefeated. And, and very similar to what he's doing tonight. He went into Albert's, you know, backyard. And took it on yeah. extremely short very notice. Very short notice, and yeah. The, um, Paul the McCauley, the um, promoter of eruption, has been doing absolutely amazing things in Queensland. He was asking for fighters. He said, do you know anyone in Melbourne that would fight? And I said, look, I know Joe will say yes. Yeah. So both boys got a similar experience, but in terms of like quality, like, you know, good opponents, it's on the side of Joe Coverdale. Yeah, absolutely. Jody Bulgari got something to prove, turning pro from that one. So he's in, he's in it to win it. Both boys getting ready here to engage. Watch as well in Joe Coverdale. He has a surprising amount of power in his hands. Especially for a guy, a, a, a lighter weight fighter. Yeah, he's put a few people away. Yep. Uh, dropped a few people. Like I said, it, it's, it's not a flashy, super technical Muay Thai style per se. And that's um, more, again, coming later into the sport. Yep. Sometimes the sort of hip tightness and stuff translates into that. But 
as you'll see, he'll stay in the pocket and, and he'll throw shots. Yeah. So much for the filling out process. <laughs> there's there's no filling out process with Joe. And Joe's fought a lot of three round fights. Yeah. Yeah. So th that that's probably going to be one thing for him to adjust is to is a five by three round fight. Jordy's fought a, a fair few fives, but only as an amateur in New South Wales, so they're two minute rounds. Yeah. So like going to the three minutes, it's a different beast. Yeah, definitely. Good middle kick followed by a teep by uh, Jordy Bargali. Beautiful evasion by uh, Joe, just pulling back. Feels like New South Wales versus uh, Victoria in this commentary booth. <laughs> Hey, we're all winners, uh, as long yeah. as we're from Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Good left knee by, and nice turn Good by turn Joe. by Joe. So Joe's Joey, a personal trainer Loki. by trade as well. Um, so he spends a lot of time in the gym. Yeah. He's got a lot of good training partners too around his weight at uh, Absolute MMA and the old Young Bulls gym. Cracking left body shot by, by Jordy. Jordy's hunting for that body early. And the body the and the low kick. Yeah. See at the moment Joe's a little bit more physically dominating in the clinch. Good switch kick. Lovely inside low kick, counted back, not quite well. Good Ooh, trip by Joe. Trip. Good timing by Joe. Joe's very composed in the ring, guys. It's a really nice footwork by Joe after he makes Jordy miss. Yep. Laos Dewey, well. I, I remember even 20 years ago, telling us if... You can block a kick or just evade it, evade it. There's no point standing there and taking shots. Little bit of a uh, outside <laughs> hip throw. Good judo. No judo. <laughs> yeah. Good evasion Good. by Joe. End of the first round, Very guys. nice first round. Nice even first round. Joe plays with the crowd. He's got two minutes, why not? Yeah. And believe me, in the corner, Laos too, he has a lot to say. So he'll want to spend all that two minutes. Yeah. What do you reckon Laos is actually saying to Joe at this moment then? Going into the second round. Uh, I think Laos is, is quite a heavy, um, boxing heavy trainer as well. So he's... kick a fair bit. Um, I think they'll probably, if I was there, I'd be saying uh, set up your switch kick a little bit better. A couple times he found himself out of position because he loaded everything behind that switch kick and kind of uh, made it pretty easy for Joe to evade. But Because when his middle and high kicks over the arms are landing, even when uh, Joseph mostly evades them, they seem to be landing reasonably well. So I'd be saying just set things up a little bit better and just keep working on that low, that low kick. Here we go in the second round. Knockout 40. Johnny Bocco versus Joe Cloverdale. Round two. Oh. Strong. <laughs> A one. Boys exchange one twos. Clinching up. Lovely turn and knee by Joe again. Yeah. Johnny seems very tense in the clinch. 
Joe's landed a couple of nice right knees as well yeah. there in that exchange. Joe, for the most part, is controlling these clinches. Switch kick by Joe. One Jab the to the body. Jordy catching counter. Beautiful low kick. Both boys are pretty marked up on their lead legs already. Yeah. Both there, sporting the stripes. Oh, just clears that tape and goes for that elbow. Very nice work by Joseph Coverdale. Nice left inside. to the body. Yeah, lovely body rip. Joe throws one back for good measure. Jordy seems to be finding his singles pretty good, but probably needs to back it up as yeah. well. Go for a little bit more in bunches. Gives Joe too much time. Yeah. yeah good good left kick. Yeah. Left kick for left kick there from the boys. Nice low kick again by Joe. High kick just evaded. <laughs> a little slip. <laughs> Jordy thus far is a little bit too content to throw one technique and then wait for what comes back. Yeah. Too much tit for tat. Yeah. Gotta start taking the charge. Good leg kick again. And a very nice middle kick. Joseph fires back with the hands. Struggles to land. Very nice right hand. Wobbles Joseph a little bit. So it might be a little bit high. And another one. Landing well. Yeah, he's definitely beginning to find a home for those shots. Mm -hmm. one breaks it through immediately in the clinch, which favours Geordie, I think. Geordie's definitely looking as strong as the two in this yeah. second round. And yeah. there comes Joe Coverdale. Just the cup. One on the cup. No rest time taken by Joe's, by Smoking Joe. Another nice right hand by Jordy Bargali. That's one thing uh, Joe does sometimes when he leans away off that right hand. Yeah. Something I really I, I want to see him stop doing. Good sweep by Jordy. Yeah, Kay caught that kick and dumped him on his backside. Very good round for Jordy Bargali, I think. Oh, for sure. Strong. strong round. Yeah, dominant round for Jordy that round. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna take a guess. It's interesting actually because Joe's one of those guys when a couple of fights he's had at 63 and a half kilos, he's looked very, very undersized. And then at 61 and a bit, 62 kilos, he actually really looks like a physically strong big yeah. guy. Probably he just has to get a little bit more physical in this round and actually use that size to his advantage. Like I said, he's, he's had a lot of fights that have been three rounders. So normally on our show, I usually use put Joe right at the start of the night because I know he puts three rounds of hell out there. Yeah. Win, lose, or draw. The crowd gets up their feet and they're ready to go. So maybe that's what's happening here. Maybe uh, Jordy's just got his measure. Maybe. Well, like I say, we've got five rounds all together. See if I can Joe seems to wake up this next round. Second act. Round three. Oh, that right hand it's found its home again. again, just through the middle. And the elbow. Comes over with the elbow too. Nice jab. Good. Lovely left kick. kick. Ladder light, beautiful low kick by 
Joe returned by Geordie. So this is what I want to see as a Coverdale fan and friend. That's what I want to see from him. A little bit more of a work rate. Yeah. Good step up knee, oh, pushes Joe knee. back. Jordy maybe got a bit too excited with that one. Jordy's doing a great job at the moment, just as long as he doesn't get overzealous. Yeah. Because uh, Coverdale does have that pro experience and he does have a good eye and he does pick his shots. So. Coverdale's left, left shin pretty marked up at the moment as well. He's gone to that, catching the tip and throwing the right hand a few times. Slaps that left hook in to set up the right hands down the pipe. They're just sliding through Geordie's guard. Geordie throws that overhand right to counter that left, left jab. Switch stance right hook by Joe and just keeps letting his hands go in the clinch. Jordy definitely showing a bit more bounce in his footwork now. Eats a low kick from Joseph. And much better round for Joe so far, yeah. but Jordy's still composed. Good right knee. Good right knee. Spinning elbow. Good elbow. Oh, good elbow by Joe. Joe started to impose himself a bit more now here, especially yeah. with a step up elbow. Spinning elbow misses. Waist like a dump. A dump. Beautiful evade and counter from Jordi Bargali. Very slick. Checks the low kick now. Right straight, right to the body, elbow for elbow. Tie up in the clinch again. Joe Jordy turns through him, the ropes. him in the back. Has <laughs> to tear him apart. Look at the termination in Joe's face at the moment. Those uh, crossing elbows and the spinning elbows, uh, they may catch him when he's exposed, but he's got a really tight high guard. Yeah. They're going to be hard to get through. Jordy's just going to be careful not turning his back in the clinch so much. Yeah, the Jordy's judges aren't going to want to see that. Yeah. Nice left knee. Ooh, big elbow. Big elbow. Oh, wow. Big elbow. And like I said, on his guard, it's not going to get through. But when he was exposed and missed the shot, that's it. He's not, he's not that there. That fight, that's it. Pe Petro's having a good look at him. He's going to let him run. Petro's. Oh, oh saved oh, by, by the bell. bell. Joe doesn't know where he is. I'm surprised. I don't know if I'm the gonna doctor's go, the doctor's yeah, gonna have a hard the look at that. Gonna intervene here. Uh, Joseph didn't realise the bell had sounded then. If the bell hadn't gone there, that's not a fight I would have wanted to see continue. Me neither. That's it. I can see uh, the doctor and combat sport. and Jordy just capitalised. I don't know if Joe's going to be recovered from that, so... There's a hard knock and he hit the ground hard as well, that one. But hopefully, like, the ref has a, cl a close eye on it. And then, like, you make sure the fighter safety is uh, paramount. Yeah, I really, I hope at the end of this uh, rest interval, the corner has a good look at him before sending him out. I'd, I'd want him up on his feet right now and see yeah. if he's balanced. I don't want to see him just get off the stool and go straight into the fight. At the end of that round, Joe had no idea where he was. Nah. We didn't even know the round was ended. Yeah. Seconds, aren't
Have a close look here, guys. Run for it. Jordy oh, getting straight to work. Definitely smells blood in the water Jordy here. Stay calm and composed. We've definitely seen Joseph get knocked down and go on to drop his opponent like he's fight with Cody Owens. Yes, yes. So Jordy can't get crazy here. That was definitely a different, different uh, caliber of a knockdown, though. Yeah. I, I honestly, yeah. I, I think if the round hadn't ended, that was the end of the fight. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Joe Stewart looks like he's got his feet somewhat underneath him. He just needs to not load up his shots at the moment. Yeah. Just settle into the round a little bit more. Yeah, Joe's actually hurt to the body here. I can see him closing his arm in off that switch kick. And uh, the left to the uh, the left liver shot followed straight after. And I can see Joe's posture affected. You'll see he's holding his elbows in really close now. So Jordan's got a few options here to work. Let's see if he can pick him out. Nice Good low kick, kick by Jordy. Right Ooh. hand over the top by Joe. Knee just on the belt there. Oh. oh, beautifully done Rock by Jordy. By Jordy. Just. This is the best I've ever seen Jordy Bulgari Absolutely. Fight. He's really risen to the occasion, okay, guys? Yeah, definitely. You're definitely right there. Those body shots have yeah. done their work. Nice right knee by Joe. Jordy's going to get that left kick going again. Yeah, he's starting to yeah. dip down his head a little bit, which is a bit yeah, of a Yeah, I don't really understand that. Joe does have a strong uh, knee. Good right hand by Joe. Just Joe's kind of putting it back on now. Left knee. It's missing that elbow, just cupping his shot in the back a little bit. Ties up in the clinch, knees him in the back. That's a strong position for Joe. Jordy presses forward. That, that's spin. not the kind of things I want to see Joe do right now, especially yeah. after that ending to that third round. Keep it simple, keep it safe. Not in a position to be taking Great huge left chances. knee by Joe in the yeah. clinch. Tied up. Really working his knees this round, Joe. Oh. Good round, good recovery round for Joe Coverdale. Good that recovery. Round landed some good knees. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people would have expected that round from after the end of the yeah. last round. That's good. Joe's still in the fight. Yeah. Still in the fight. He does need to do something big in the fifth round, I believe, guys, to take this fight. Yeah. yeah. Um, that third round was definitely a 10-8 round. Because I think Jordy was dominating it and and a massive knockdown which could have ended the fight. Yeah. Um, so that was a good round for Joe, but yeah, he definitely needs to do some work in his fifth round. Yeah. I'd like to see him just use his hands, not load anything up, get into the clinch and work his knees. Yeah. Not be thinking so much about the ultra flashy techniques. Like yeah. he doesn't need to be fishing for spinning elbows and things like this. Yeah, it needs to just really just work off his nuts and bolts stuff. Ten seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, please get behind both fighters as we move into the fifth and final round. 
seconds. Oh. Team Warpath behind us to get him behind there, boy. Jordi Bargali. Blue five. Oh. And oh, first coming out, banging. I don't want to see him get desperate. Holy moly. Joe Coverdale's coming out for blood. Joseph has landed some good hands in the early part of this round. Joe knows he needs a stoppage to win this yeah. fight, boys. And he's, he, he wants to win. He, he's not here for an experience. He's not yeah. here for a learning experience. He's here to win the fight. <laughs> Jordy tipping for that body lock again, I imagine, because he's looking for the same takedown he's hit a couple of times. Yeah. He, I'd love to see Joe try to time an up elbow while because Jordy is just fishing for that body lock out from distance. Oh, oh my lord! By Two beautiful deeps to the face. And Joe and one back. back from Joe. Joe calls him on and comes straight ahead. Elbow. Downward right elbow. Another elbow. Landed really well with that. Did smoking Joe. Was a Bit of head movement. Pieces out of each other. Yeah, gonna be some sore boys tomorrow morning. Oh, Let's kick. kick. Both corners say forward. Another downward elbow just misses by Coverdale. Jab right hand. Good low back kick by Jordy. Return by Joe. Smoking Joe comes back. Good left kick. Nice high and kick back by to the body lands well. I think Jordy's making it a little bit harder for himself than he needs to this yeah, round, boys. Absolutely. Stay back. Land some nice strong power kicks. Good body kicks can you win you a fight. Jordy's going to spill out blood now. He wants to put on a show, but he does not have to engage this kind of fight. And I was thinking this is the least I've ever seen Jordy Bargali's nose bleed yeah. when I watch him fight, but it's on now. <laughs> there it is. And here we go. <laughs> oh. Another tip to the face. Very strong by Jordy Bargali. Tied up in a bit early. Bit early, yeah. <laughs> Jordy Bargali breathing a bit heavy. A couple of lazy uppercuts there from. Ooh. It weaves under those hooks dangerously low, Very but. Very dangerous, but. Oh, right hand behind the ear. Oh, Deep back. Jordy's gonna go to that body lock. Very That's quick break. Things, things really breaking those yeah. clinches very quickly at the moment. Good body kick. Joe wants to spin. Spin on spin. Another oh, elbow. Oh, Second elbow. Second elbow. At the end of the round as well. Jordy Bulgari with a second elbow knockdown. Jordy Bulgari just. Joe was having a fight. great round, and that's the end of the fight. Wow. What a fight. Amazing fight. Joe got unlucky there on that run. Yeah, he was having quite a good fifth round. I felt like he was uh, sort of landing some good knees in there, good hands. But that's the fight game, boys. When you get desperate, that's you it. get opened up. Yeah. And it seemed like Joseph Coverdale went to engage his spinning elbow and he gave Jordy Bargali the idea. Yeah. Just back and forth. <coughs> But what a fight. Yeah, but definitely I think if you look down this card, there's a lot of superstars. And I think of all the matches, this was like the up-and-comer match on the card. Yeah. So remember the names. Jordy Bargali, Joseph Coverdale, unreal fight between, yeah, probably like two of the lesser-known guys on this card. But, but well-known in their respective Muay Thai scenes, Victoria and New South Wales. Yeah, for sure. And I think that was a good opportunity for those guys to showcase their stuff. Their, their skills to the yeah. wider Muay Thai community. Obviously, Yokao being an international show, yeah. um, being broadcast live around the world on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah. A lot of eyes on it, and uh, I hope that everyone who's watching that was impressed by the heart of these two guys and their skill. Guys who've had...
And after five explosive rounds, we now go to the judges' scorecards. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favour of your winner. In the red corner, Jordi Bargaley! Yeah, no doubt in that one, guys. And your no appreciation, please, for Joe Coverdale. Very impressive performance by Jordi Bargaley against the very game Smoking Joe Coverdale. I mean, after the last couple of fights, Joey Claverdale's had now. Hopefully it takes a little bit of time off to heal, recover. Yes. A little bit. He's got exactly seven weeks to heal up and recover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly seven exactly, weeks. Exactly seven weeks. Well, hopefully, like, he pulls through. <laughs> It'll be right. <laughs> uh, look, I really want to see him take a little bit of time and recover and heal up. Um, he's had some hard fights. He's had a lot of uh, things to get through over the last few months, Joe, and... Um, you know, he's a friend and I'm really proud of the, the, the guy.